Hey guys, in algebra we learn about binomial products. Well guess what, in thirds as well we also have binomial products. We follow the same process. Binomial products has two terms multiplied by two terms. So in fact, in between the two brackets there are a multiplication signs. So always remember, whenever you see binomials and binomials, we know they are multiplied together. There is an invisible multiplication. We follow the same process we did with algebraic binomial products. Let's see how we do these ones. Root 3 times root 3. Root 3 times 4. And 2 times root 3. And 2 times 4. So what we are saying is that every term is multiplied by the other term on the other side. Root 3 times root 3, root 3 times 4, 2 times root 3, and 2 times 4. Now let's complete it. Root 3 times root 3 is actually root 9. We know root 9 simplifies and becomes simply 3. Root 3 times 4 is 4 root 3, then we move on to this one. Positive 2 times root 3 is positive 2 root 3, and positive 2 times positive 4 is positive 8. We have now completed the product. Now we see if we can actually simplify 3 plus another whole number, which is 8. 3 plus 8 is 11. That's finished. Now we look for like thirds because we can only add or subtract like thirds. 4 root 3 plus 2 root 3. Yes, we have like thirds, root 3 and root 3, which means 4 plus 2. 6 root 3. So our final answer is 11 plus 6 root 3. So how did we do it? We multiplied root 3 times root 3, root 3 times 4, then 2 times root 3 and 2 times 4. We complete it, we look and we always make sure we look to simplify and add and collect like terms and here we are talking about like thirds. 3 plus 8 is 11, 4 root 3 plus 2 root 3 is 6 root 3. Let's do another example. We have another binomial product. 5 root 7 plus root 10 all in brackets and 2 root 7 plus 3 root 10 all in brackets. We know we are multiplying them, there is an invisible multiplication. Now remember, always be careful and take it easy. Don't rush so you don't make silly mistakes. 5 root 7 is multiplied by 2 root 7. 5 root 7 times 3 root 10. That's the first step. The second step, root 10 times 2 root 7, root 10 times 3 root 10. Let's follow and make sure we do it correctly. 5 root 7 times 2 root 7. 5 times 2 is 10. Root 7 times root 7 is actually 7. Root 7 times root 7 is 7. 7 times the actual 10 that we had, because we know there's a invisible multiplication sign is there as well, and there as well. So the 5 times 2 is 10, root 7 times root 7 is 7, 7 times the 10 is in fact actually 70. So 70 is 5 root 7 times root 2, uh, right, times 2 root 7 is actually 70. Now, 5 root 7 times 3 root 10. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 15, and root 7 times root 10 is actually root 70. 7 times 10 is 70. That one's completed. Now the next one. Root 10 times 2 root 7. Root 10 times 2 root 7 is 2 root 70. Root 10 times 3 root 10. We know root 10 times root 10 is actually 10. 10 times the 3 is 30.
Now we collect and we see if we can simplify any further. We can, 70 plus 30 is 100. Are these like thirds? Yes, they are. 15 root 70 plus 2 root 70. 15 plus 2 is 17 root 70. Now this is our answer. We ask, can we simplify? Well, no, we can't because there are no two numbers that multiply to get 70 in one square root. We can't simplify this any further. 100 plus 17 root 70. That's our final answer for that one. Let us now do another two more examples. Last two examples. Root y plus 3 times root y minus 2. We know there's a multiplication between each binomial. Root y times root y, root y times negative 2. Then 3 times root y and 3 times negative 2. So now let's complete it. Root y times root y is simply y. Root y times negative 2 is negative 2 root y. So y here, root y times negative 2 is negative 2 root y. Next one, 3 times root y is 3 root y. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Can we simplify any further? Well, yes we can. We know that negative 2 root y plus 3 root y, they are like thirds, so we can simplify them. But first, let's write this down. y minus 2 root y plus 3 root y minus 2 plus 3 is positive 1 root y and then minus 6. That's our simplest answer. Very important to concentrate and look for the like terms, or in this case as well, we have like thirds. So minus 2 root y plus 3 root y. Very important to pick them out. Next, root x plus 4, all in brackets, multiplied by root x plus 6, all in brackets. So the same process. Root x times root x is x. Root x times 6 is 6 root x. Next one, 4 times root x is 4 root x. 4 times 6 is 24. So we make sure we don't miss anything. Root x times root x, there it is. Root x times 6, there it is. And then 4 times root x, there it is. 4 times 6, there it is. Now we see if we can simplify. Can the x simplify and add to anything? No, it can't. We have like thirds though. So 6 root x plus 4 root x is 10 root x. And then lastly, plus 24. So now we have our final answer for this binomial product as well. Thirds and algebra follow similar rules. So always remember that binomial products, we are timesing two terms with two terms.